All right, I'm going to do this as a video because um, uh, my hair is messy, bed hair. Um, that's how it's naturally. That's how it is when I chemically straighten it. So this apparently was brought up. Let me see the camera there so I can show you. This was brought up. Now, I don't know why. Um, you can see that's myself. That's the photo I used for my green card photo. Yeah, Giovanni was with me when I had this taken down in George Street. It's tied back like I do. And I slicked my hair back and I had it chemically straightened at the time. There you go. I don't see the big deal. Right, the photo was taken back in 2014. There you go. You can see that it's actually a genuine photo. And it's taken in, uh, there you go. So that's the photo that I used for my green card photo. I thought it looked more sophisticated. I'm sorry I did now. So the one that does the American passport photos is a place that's down near the rocks in uh, George Street. That's where this photo was taken. And um, I just did my sophisticated look that I used to do for Star Casino. And then if I ever let my hair out, that's how it is naturally. You can see even when I got mugged after work, I finished work, I let my hair out. Um, there's my hair naturally. There's my hair when I straighten it. Um, and that's all it is. So uh, I don't understand um, the issues over that, but I just want to make that clear. Um, there's the photo of me there, which is my sort of business look. Um, and there's the, there's me natural. That's the photo I used for my green card photo. Um, and as you can see here, so there's a passport photo of mine. Um, I'm not going to go and get it. And it was taken in 2010, 2011. It was taken in December. Um, so I was at the beach all the time. So I'm actually really tanned. Um, and I actually had people look at that photo and think that, oh, was he wearing makeup? It's like, no, man, I was at Redleaf Pool the entire time. Like, if I go in the sun, which I haven't used much sunlight since 2014, I go dark. Um, and that's not unusual because my grandfather, Stanley Fleming's skin naturally was dark. So I pick up his pigments. Um, and that's the thing. So Stanley Fleming, um, Pop, Dad's father. Um, and look, you don't have to take my word for it. You can just base information from documents. So the um, documents of the government that the government has of record of my dad's father, um, number one, it says that he had no place of birth and no country of birth. Stanley Fleming had no country of birth, no place of birth, and he was an orphan raised by Edith Kavanagh in Botany Bay. Number two, it describes his description as being a dark and a dark complexion. That's dad's father was dark complexion. Now, I didn't have the natural dark complexion where in wintertime my skin would be as dark because my skin's not as dark as my grandfather's. Um, and I know this because when I was a little kid, I used to put my, my arm up when he had that round green lounge at Sofa in Parramatta because um, he did. I didn't see him much when he moved to um, Edelong Beach. Um, he passed away long after moving to Edelong Beach, but Nan stayed living at Edelong Beach. So I saw my nan more. So the last time I remember seeing Pop before he got sick and died in hospital, I'm a kid, we're in Rainbow Street there in Wentworthville. So, cause dad grew up in Parramatta. And um, I'm sitting on the sofa next to him, watching this spy film. And I put my arm right next to him cause he had thick black hair. I remember this cause I mean, I don't have, but that's where my complexion comes from. I put it up to any skin color. And I remember focusing as a little kid that his skin color was a lot darker than mine. And the hair in his arms, I was like, you could see like where the hair went into his arms. It was so black. He had the one mono brow. He looked, he looked Arabic. He looked Arabic. Like my cousins go, oh, he looks Italian. Oh, he looks Greek. He looks more, t well, yeah, he looks Greek. Look at Aunt Sandra. She looks Greek. Um, uh, looks more teased, looks Lebanese. Could have been this, could have been that. Who knows, you know, because we know that Edith Kavanagh used to take in ethnic orphan boys. Um, anyway, so Stanley Fleming. And yeah, that's true. So I went like this with him, but we're sitting on the sofa. He was sitting right next to the corner part where the, um, uh, so where the, the corner bar was. So there was a bar built into the sofa. And I went like that just to look at the difference of color of skin because he was dark skinned. I was a little kid looking at the difference of color of skin um, and his black hair. So probably, so I have some of that DNA from my dad's father's side where if I go in the sunlight, I'll go dark. So the photo of me on this passport photo, I've been in the sun tanning and my face is really dark. Um, so if that's not unusual, I can go dark and I'm darker than my twin sister. My twin sister throws more of my mother's side of the family where I throw more of the Fleming side. A man is more, she goes on the Purdy and Keegan side, I'm more on the Fleming side. Um, you can see that. 